In this series I covered the maximum core population of every single country that exists in Hearts of Iron 4. And today's letter is letter G. Our first country today is Gabon. Gabon starts by coring the state of, you guessed it, Gabon with the capital city of Libreville, one of the less populated nations of Africa, having roughly half of the population of its neighbor Congo and one-seventh of its neighbor Cameroon. Anyway, Gabon cannot get any extra cores, no matter what they do, and their maximum core population is 410,000 people. Next country is another African nation, and that's Gambela. Gambela cores one of the least populated states of Ethiopia, the state of Ilubab or Kaffa. Fun fact, while country of Gambela has only one letter L in its name, their capital Gambela has two L's. <laughs> this funny state has about 600,000 people, but their core population can be greatly increased. To get the maximum possible cores as Gambela, Ethiopia has to get all the cores that it can get from the African Union. On top of that, they need to own the state of Palestine, and by making Jerusalem the capital of the state through decision, they'll be able to court this state as well. After this, Gambela would simply have to conquer that Ethiopia, and then they'd have to finish crowning of the Negusa Nagant focus. At the end of the day, they're gonna core all of these states with a maximum core population of 151.1 million people. Our next country is the German Democratic Republic, or as I like to call it, DDR. This country is literally the East Germany. Back in the day, only way the East or West Germany could get cores was from the Yalta Conference, but uh, people were mad about the Yalta Conference, and that's what you get. Only country that gets cores in the Yalta Conference now is Poland. So the maximum core population of East Germany is zero people. While they don't have any core population, they do have some trivia. Their fascist name is literally DNSR, and their leader is Jake, who is the master maneuverer, by the way. I never saw this before, but yeah, he's a master maneuverer, which is basically a silent workhorse. Their democratic flag is also very funny, and their no online name is literally Kingdom of Prussia. This reminds me of some old uh, loophole bug with... Uh, cosmetic tags and East Germany and Prussia or whatever, but let's forget about this for now. Because our next country is the German Reich, or well, the, the real Germany. To get the maximum possible course to real Germany, you have to oppose the H-Man. After winning in the Civil War, you have to go for a revive the Kaiserreich path. Focus C to the Eastern Front sends an ultimatum to Lithuania, and if they say yes, you get to own and core Memel. While the Focus Danzig for guarantees does the same but to Poland, and if they accept, you get to own and core Danzig, Gdynia, Poznan, and Katowice. Germany, with these borders, has more industry than Soviet Union. Someone told me and even sent me a video of how they clicked on a decision which is of course on this state in Denmark. For the love of god, I can't replicate that. I'm too lazy to dig in the game files, so let's just say that that uh, is a true video and not a scam. Your next step towards the maximum core population is getting uh, Victoria to be your country leader. You can do it the normal way or you can do it the Chad way and just type in a command and uh, if she's your leader, you can revive the Holy Roman Empire. But you give you course on uh, all of these states. You know the irony is hard when you are a <laughs> secular Roman Federation, but you don't call Rome. Anyway, to get the maximum possible course at this point, you have to go democratic through either getting puppeted or something. And then you simply have to realize European unity, which would turn into EU and give you the course on all of these states. And yes, you still don't core this state. I love paradox. Anyway, your maximum core population is Germany is 191.93 million people. There's a plane flying right above my head. But that doesn't matter, our next country is Ghana, which by the way has one of the best colors in game. The only other country I can think about that comes close is the Trinidad and Tobago. Anyway, Ghana starts by coring the state of Ghana in West Africa, with a core population of 3.16 million people. And yep, you've guessed it, Ghana is another one of those African nations which cannot get any extra cores whatsoever. Which means that their maximum core population is 3.16 million people. Our next country is the Grand Duchy of Mecklenburg, which, ironically, is uh, the smallest duchy of all of these. Your Grand Duchy of Mecklenburg doesn't core any states at the start of the game. To get any extra cores, France will have to go monarchist and, uh, you know, disunite Germany. That creates our Grand Duchy of Mecklenburg, which cores only the state of Mecklenburg, which was the least populated state in entire Germany for many years. Until a few months ago, then Schleswig came into the existence and uh, saved their reputation. Anyway, Mecklenburg cannot get any extra cores, which means that their maximum core population is 837,000 people. Our next country is another Grand Duchy, and this time, it's the one of Tuscany. And once again, 
this great duchy is the weakest entity in the entire country. Actually the only entity in Italy which has only one core state. All the other places have at least two. At least their state isn't completely poo poo. They have a population of about 3 million people and uh, that's their maximum core population. They, 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 want, they don't have anything else. Although I must admit that they have very schizo fascist party called Etrurian coalition. If you don't remember Etrurians were those people who lived here like uh, 3000 years ago. Let's look at this. They're fascist and democratic leader have exact same last name. And not only that, they're not aligned and communist leader have exact same last name. <laughs> Our next country is Greenland. Greenland doesn't have any course at the start of the game. In order for Greenland to have any course, you have to pick the Nordic's fragmented uh, preset. Besides releasing very weird Karelia, this also releases Greenland and also gives them the core in the state of Greenland. With the uh, very bugged occupation, let's just say that. Anyway, in this preset, Greenland has a core population of 18,000 people. However, they can get more cores through proclaimed Nordic Unity Decision. For this, they simply have to conquer Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Iceland, you know, the typical procedure. Anyway, their maximum core population is 17.21 million people. Our next country is Guangxi Clique. Guangxi Clique starts with a core population of 50.18 million people. To get the maximum possible cores as Guangxi Clique, you have to finish your focus tree. This focus will give you cores on all of the cores that regular nationalist China has got. So if they lost some cores in the process, uh, you won't get those cores. But if China didn't lose any cores, then you're gonna core all of these states. With a well-known maximum core population, of 489.99 million people. Our next nation is Guarani Nation. To get them to have course, you have to start with the America's de-imperialized preset. Or you have to play as Chile and go for Mapuche Path, which will give you an option to release them as your puppet. Guarani Nation can core all of these states. Maximum core population of Guarani Nation is 8.05 million people. Our next country is Guatemala. To get the maximum possible course as Guatemala, you have to reconstitute the Federal Republic. After that, you have to incorporate Panama as well as the Republic of Yucatan. At the end of the day, you're gonna core all of these states with a maximum core population of well known 6.26 million people. Next on the list is Guinea. They start with a core population of only 195,000 people, which is insanely inaccurate. Modern day Guinea has like 15 million people. How the hell did they? go from this to 15 million in 80 years. Anyway, Guinea cannot get any extra cores and their maximum core population is 195,000 people. And our last country for today is their very neighbor, Guinea Bissau. Let me show you the most logical thing ever in Hoi 4. This tiny little country has double the population of Guinea, basically population of 365,000 people. And while that big Guinea with very small amount of people has only one building slot, the small Guinea with lots of people has zero building slots. It also has worse infrastructure somehow. Anyway, Guinea Bissau cannot get any extra cores. Thank you for watching. Psych, it actually can. If you start with the Africa decolonized preset, they also get to own and core the state of Cape Verde, which is the only state where they can actually build some stuff. This increases their core population to 516 thousand people. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like, share and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next one where I'm gonna cover the letter H. I, f I forgot the alphabet. And, uh, yeah. Bye.